What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. We have just received some breaking news from Sports Gamers Online, published by Michael Straw today, November 30th, 2021. If you want to read the full article, I'll link it down in the description below. But the title of the update or the title of the article is Madden 22 Franchise Mode Updates Cancelled. Now what I will say is I've been kind of calling this all year long, and I'll get into some of the details of the article and everything like that, but I, I tried to warn as many people as possible that, number one, the scouting update was not going to come out on time. There was no way, and that update ended up coming out almost two months after the designated release date for that update, and that was well after, that was already months after the launch of the game. So they really have not been on schedule for any of their updates for the game and now this news release is saying um, you know for the next major updates to franchise mode the updates aren't going to be coming according to sources close to the game's development EA Sports has made the decision to cancel the plans for the remaining two large in-season updates for the game mode this comes just under two months since the game's scouting update the first of three planned feature improvements to the mode was released to everyone According to this article, the decision was made to cut the plans after moving a portion of the Madden development team over to the new EA Sports college football game that's currently in development. Because of the staff movement, EA Sports decided to put more of the focus on Madden towards year-over-year -year development. Now, this is a really interesting piece of news. Now, like I said, I saw this coming. I don't think that this should be a surprise to anyone, but we all know that EA makes most of their money in this game off of Ultimate Team, and it seems like they are continuing to go down that path. Specifically in this article, they state that EA Sports is a company that pulls in well over a billion dollars in revenue from Ultimate Team modes alone. Now that seems like it's across all Ultimate Teams within all of their games, but that seems like a very high number. And to be honest with you, the part that sticks out to me here knowing how much money EA makes off of their games without not ever, you know, without never putting a finished product out onto the market. Um, what sticks out to me is that they had to pull from their staff for, for Madden to go develop this EA college football game. So, I think that it's really telling as to the state of the workers and the state of working at EA right now, and I think it speaks to the fact that there are probably a lot of people out there that don't want to work for EA right now because of the current conditions. This article actually goes on to say more in regards to that. It goes on to say changes leave EA sports staff frustrated, um, and there are multiple details here discussing that. Specifically, this article states, after reaching out to various personnel, there isn't a lot of happiness within the EA Sports development team at the moment. Many know how the decision is going to be viewed by the community, especially after another rocky launch. And that is honestly an understatement. Madden 22 has been an atrocious game from the beginning. It is very, very clunky. It is not a good game at all. I don't recommend you picking it up if you don't already have it. And it is a game that they they said they were going to provide major franchise updates to. They provided a, a reskin to franchise mode. They provided a reskin to the scouting system. And none of that has been received well by the community. There really has not been that much change within franchise mode and in my opinion I believe that they need to focus on taking a year off or two years off from producing Madden and they need to rethink the entire game from the ground up. Now that could be an indication of where they are going with this game because they've decided to cancel updates for the existing game and focus on production for Madden 23 and it says that specifically in this article in a couple of different locations. Specifically, uh, back in October, Madden 22 executive producer Sean Grady told IGN that new modes being added to the game wasn't a priority for the team uh, and its content updates. Instead, the team is focused on specific areas of the game that are already in place, and specifically he said, I would say 
the roadmap is probably slightly less ambitious than years past because we really are focused on a few core areas of Madden 22 and getting started on Madden 23 in a big way. So my indication here is they are probably making a move to make bigger changes to Madden 23 and get started on Madden 23 earlier than they would have in the past. And I think that is a good move. I would just say that moving personnel from the Madden development team over over to a college football development team is bad in multiple ways. Number one, the product that has been provided to us in Madden has been received poorly by the community for multiple years now, so I don't think that the people that are working on Madden should be working on this college football game. There should have been a totally new staff brought in with maybe some chief executives or something of that nature moving over to oversee the production of that game, and we should be backfilling, if we are moving staff from one area to another, we should be back filling with additional staff. I understand COVID, I understand everything that's going on, but EA certainly makes more than enough money to be able to influence staff to come to their organization and work on these games and produce a better product. Now, like I said, I think that speaks to the fact that they probably are having trouble finding people to backfill those positions because there are much better companies to work for right now in game development. According to this article, SGO has reached out to EA Sports for public comment on the decision and will update this story if they receive a response or any additional information. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments section below regarding all of this information. I feel like this is very important information pertaining to franchise mode and we learned some very important things here. Number one, they are continuing down the same cycle of supporting the money-making game modes and I believe believe that the decision to improve upon franchise mode has probably been overridden by some of the higher ups or the investors within the company because they don't see it as a worthwhile investment. And there was probably honestly a bit of a quota of some sort to say whenever they did the scouting update and they probably needed to receive a positive feedback from the community in order to continue along their roadmap that they were going down. And since they did not receive the positive feedback on that, that would also, in my opinion, likely be a trigger to this change. Now, like I said, I'm not happy about the fact that they are doing these moves, moving players, moving uh, developers from EA Madden over to the college football game and things of that nature. I'm not happy that they are canceling the roadmap that they have, but if it is going to signal that they're going to start earlier on Madden 23, that could be a positive sign. I'd say more than likely we're going to get a very similar game in Madden 23, and I am very hesitant to say that there is going to be any amount of upgrade, and we should really hold our money in our wallets, and we should very much be skeptical about what's coming in Madden 23 and what is coming for the college football game. I am extremely skeptical following moves like this as to whether either of those games is going to be a reasonable product and worth the $70 price tag that they are going to be charging for it. I am especially worried about the college football game because that's something that people have been wanting for a long time and I thought that they would bring a completely new direction to it, build it from the ground up, but based on the sounds of it and the way that they're shifting personnel from Madden over to this college football game, I'm going to say it's more than likely going to be a very Madden-esque game. It is not going to, it's going to be more similar to Madden 22 than it would be to NCAA 14, which is the game that people would want it to be reflective of. The NCAA games of the past were very entertaining, and in fact, the Madden games of that era were also relatively entertaining in comparison to the modern day Madden. So I'm a bit fearful of what the product is going to be. And like I said, I'm skeptical. And I want to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this style of video. I don't do news-related videos very often, but when a very important topic like this, especially affecting franchise mode in 
what is the most played and most uh, created game on my channel happens, I feel obligated to create a video for it and I wanna share some of my thoughts on it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down below by leaving that feedback that I always request from you. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button. That stuff helps the algorithm and comment down below as well. That all helps to push this video out and helps to grow our community here on the channel. As always, I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you in the next video.